Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you some cool ways you can use commutators during F2L. Now keep in mind this isn't a tutorial for how commutators work, so if you're unsure I'd recommend uh, looking into that on, on your own so that you can get a better understanding of the examples that I'm going to be showing. And something to keep in mind is that this is mainly geared towards advanced solvers, say like, you know, sub 8 or something, so if you're, if you're not around there, then you might not find these tricks quite as useful, but you still may find them interesting. The first category of cases that I'm going to show you is where we pretty much have like a pure commutator, eight moves and just RUD. Um, but in F2L, we don't have to, you know, AUF at the end of an L because that doesn't affect any of our pairs. So this is really just like a seven move uh, insertion, interchange, undo the insertion. So let's say we want to solve the corner in the front right slot. If we're in this orientation, we can put it pretty much anywhere besides like right above the slot and do R prime D prime R to set it up and put it in where it needs to be. Even if it's back here, you have a few options, like you can uh, do a U2 to put it in, or it might be more ergonomic depending on um, what grip you're starting in for, uh, with the previous alg or, you know, whatever your continuation is after this. You might want to do a U prime and then insert it like that, or even do a U. So, you know, with these things, you have a lot of flexibility and being aware of all the different options you have can make for better continuations. Now, let's say we had this corner in the other orientation, like this. If, if the yellow was all the way on top, by the way, there wouldn't really be as, as easy of a way to do this. I mean, you still technically could use commutators, but they're just not quite as useful. So if we have this, um, you know, there's no simple seven move way to insert it with an RUD com, but something you can do, D prime to set up the unsolved corner to right here, because we can insert this into the front left slot. So instead of R prime D prime R, we're doing R prime DR as our insertion, and then finish up. And of course, we'll have to undo at the end, unless we're pseudo-slotting. So yeah, you can apply this trick from almost any AUF and in any slot. Like, even if we wanted to do something in the, uh, you know, back right, this corner, um, there's no 7-move way to do it, but we could do a D-prime to set up the unsolved piece to right there, and then do a 7-mover to put the corner in, and then fix it. So I definitely encourage you to play around with those. Another thing is that trick applies not only to when you're, you're just doing a comm as your solution, but also when a comm is part of your solution. So a few examples that come to mind are this one. So we want to keep the corner where it is and move the edge. So we're going to do a comm to pair them up and then insert. Similarly, we can uh, move the edge from back here and put, put pair it up with the corner with part of a comm and then insert. So this is something you can play around with a lot and just see, you know, what types of solutions give better continuations in different circumstances.